strength of these elastic tendons in the mature sport horse is how much exercise that horse has to use at all. Turns out that these elastic tendons will get stronger until our foal is about two years old. And after that, conditioning won't make them stronger. So if you're going out and buying a horse as a potential athlete, you better ask what it did when it was a foal. Was it turned out as a foal? Um, and the best thing is, if it was turned out on a hilly pasture, you have to go up the hill to get a drink of water, come down the hill to get some food. No, exercise is good for young horses. It's good for all horses. Um, but especially important for developing strength with these tendons. And this, I keep showing you figures for the superficial flexor. There's been more research on that because the racing industry has paid for the research. But I think we can you know, pretty much guess that the figures would be very similar for the suspensory ligament. So they looked at um, a group of foals that were reared on pasture and a group that were reared in stalls, so they didn't get natural exercise. And the superficial flexor tendon was 50% larger in the foals reared on pasture. And that's a huge difference. Now, if it's larger, it's stronger. <coughs> So what can we do to reduce the risk of getting a suspensory injury? Well, the first thing is we can select the right horse. Pick one that went out and got lots of exercise when it was a baby. Don't pick one that has really long, sloping pastons. Long, sloping pastons allow the fetlock to sink further, and that stretches the tendon further. And especially that's important in a horse that finds it really easy to sit. If you have long sloping hind pastons and a horse that can really sit, for instance, in the passage in the gap and the, the pirouettes, then that's kind of a recipe for disaster. I haven't told you yet the really bad news. Elastic tendons will accumulate damage as the animal gets older, even if we're very careful about um, giving them enough rest and recovery time. Because if we don't give them enough rest and recovery time, the damage is going to accumulate a lot faster. But in any animal and person, the elastic tendons do get weaker with age. So by the time a horse is 11 years old, these elastic tendons are about 40%. So how do we manage that? Well, in your older horses particularly, it's really important to check their legs every day. And also, don't overwork the older horses. Like when the horses are younger, that's the time to be getting fit, to condition them, to teach them the tricks, to train them. By the time they get to you know, 11 or 12 years old, hopefully they're fairly well trained. Back off a little bit on the amount of work that they're doing. Don't go out there and, and drill and drill and drill. L interestingly, full suspensories are very similar to ruptured Achilles tendons in people. Any of you have a parent who's had a ruptured Achilles? Yeah, that's one or two. It's the same thing. The Achilles is one of these elastic tendons. So if you're, especially people who are quite active and athletic all through their life, they're building up damage in the Achilles tendon, and then you get to be like 40 years old, and suddenly it ruptures. Just the same thing as we get with the suspensory injuries and forces. And something else that's important for reducing the likelihood or preventing suspensory injuries is the way the horses are trained. That's what a horse's foot is meant to look like. If that looks really strange to you, then go away and think about it. A lot of dressage horses' feet look more like this one, with very high heels. Now, what the high heels do is that they take tension off the deep digital flexor, which is the only one that goes all the way down into the boot. So you raise the heel and you take tension off the deep flexor, but then 
the tension has to go somewhere else. So it goes to the suspensory and the superficial flexor. So high heels are increasing the risk of the suspensory injury. And an awful lot of dressage horses do have heels that are too long. The other thing is deep surfaces. We said that the horses are going to get tired more quickly on a deep surface. Um, and when the muscles are fatigued, it puts more load again on the superficial flexor and the system. And interestingly, the um, synthetic surfaces that we use now, they have more grip. They stop the foot more quickly. They don't allow it to slide when it makes contact. And I think that's potentially another factor um, in causing suspensory injuries. So maybe don't be practicing your extensions on the DGT surface. Go and find that some grass or a sand arena, you want to do a lot of extensions, that kind of thing. And one positive thing that I think you can do to help reduce the risk of injuries in your horses is to get some cold therapy on their legs after a hard workout. If you live in normal places, cold housing is fine. It would be a while to get used to not having cold water come out of the hose here. Um, you can have them stand in ice or you can use special ice boots, but I think that is a good technique to help to, to prevent future injuries. 